Wyoming building is run primarily by her husband, and she, in, in her ethics statements in recent years, has said that she has taken a back seat to that. Uh, how much of uh, the wealthy liens are her responsibility? I'll let Charles Gluth, who owns Charles Gluth & Sons, a, a roofers, a roofer company, uh, that never got paid $170,000 react to that question with his quote. It's been terrible, absolutely <coughs> terrible for the company. These small, medium-sized companies that have done work with Welty have been largely ignored by the company when the company it came time for the company to pay its bills. While Mary Taylor uh, benefits from, from her ownership and her leadership within Welty, she has to take responsibility for the shortcomings of the business as well. And we have pointed out that with over $7 million in past liens, there's a lot for Mary Taylor to be held accountable for. This is not just about Mary Taylor uh, and ceding a responsibility to, to uh, others, including her husband, uh, who also is listed as an owner on, on the appropriate ethics forms of Welty. It's about the director of the Department of Insurance, the lieutenant governor of the state of Ohio, uh, a so-called, you know, among Republican circles, a so-called rising star in their political party, has to take responsibility for her actions, whether in private life or in public life. In public life, she is not. In private life, she is not. And, and we are going to hold her and Governor Kasich accountable uh, every step of the way. Other questions? Well, if it's her husband's company, I mean, she's not... Involved with the As you know, a quick review of the ethics forms. All of us are required uh, to either report our ethics forms to JLEC or to the Ethics uh, uh, Commission. With regard to Mary Taylor, she is one of those individuals required. And over the course of the last decade or more of public life, she has consistently listed Welty as one of those companies that she has a principal role in, in running. Uh, she benefits from that company financially. Uh, she benefits from that company in terms of her leadership and reflecting on that leadership when she's on the campaign trail. She often speaks about her experiences as, a, as an accountant and as a business owner. Uh, she must be held accountable for the fact that she doesn't pay her bills. And the mechanics liens reflect that. These are not uh, merely liens that are leveled against a disgruntled uh, general contractor. These are mom and pop uh, companies that, that risk bankruptcy because wealthy, because Mary Taylor, because uh, those others who run that company are not paying their bills. Uh, there's been legal action in Indiana, there's been legal action in Ohio that reflect those statements. And each and every one of us are required to fill out those ethics forms. If she does not receive a financial benefit from wealthy, then she ought not list it. She lists, has listed in the past, her leadership roles in wealthy. Uh, not as a, an assistant, uh, a secretary assistant within the company, but actually a leader in the company. And she also speaks on that from time to time, those experiences being a leader in the private sector. Now she must help to account for the fact that they don't pay their bills. Christian Fitzgerald release.